Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I was in a little bit of a conundrum on what I wanted to make. I was kind of feeling pie, but I was also feeling breakfast. I know those two don't often go together, but the compromise I came up with is a mini ham, cheese, and spinach breakfast pie. The ingredients I'm going to be using are one sheet of puff pastry, four cups of a baby spinach, one large shallot that I've diced up. In here I have six small slices of ham that I've diced up. A half of a cup of a mozzarella cheese. I'll also be using a three-fourths cup of ricotta cheese. For my seasonings, I've got some salt, pepper, and about a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I've also got one clove of garlic, two tablespoons of milk. Over here I've got one tablespoon of olive oil that we'll be frying the shallots up into. One egg that I'll be using as an egg wash later on. And just a little bit of extra cheese to sprinkle over the top of our pies before they go in the oven. So these are all our ingredients and I'm going to start off by moving my puff pastry out of the way and bringing in a mixing bowl to which I want to add in my 3 fourths cup of ricotta cheese, my ham, the half a cup of mozzarella, the salt, pepper, and nutmeg, and also the two tablespoons of milk. And then these ingredients just get quickly mixed together. With these mixed together, I'm just going to go ahead and set it over to the side for a few minutes while we continue prepping the rest of our ingredients. Here at the stove, I've gone ahead and heated up the olive oil and added in my shallots and my garlic. And I'm just going to let these saute for about a minute. After about a minute, the garlic should be really fragrant. And it's time to start adding in the spinach. And I'm just going to add this in about a handful at a time. And as it wilts down, I'll slowly add more and more. After about four to five minutes, your spinach should be all nice and wilted, just like this. So I can go ahead and remove it from the stove. Now that the spinach is done, I can go ahead and add it into the ricotta mixture. Here on my cookie sheet, I've gone ahead and added a piece of parchment paper. And I did go ahead and just cut my puff pastry sheet into four equal pieces. And all we need to do with it is start adding our filling right into the center of each one of these. Now there is a lot of filling there. And I honestly think I can get away with making eight of these instead of just four. We shall see. Just want to pile it up right there in the center and that is probably more than what I need for that. I'll probably remove just a little bit of that. I don't want these too full. The last thing I need to do before these can go in the oven, as you can see I've gone ahead on the other ones and brought my sides up, being sure to pinch them really well to help form like a, a little pocket here around the outside of the filling. You want to work your way all the way around the whole outside. You might need to do a little bit of pushing and pulling and a little tiny bit of stretching here and there to get it all to come up over the top of the filling like that. And then I just folded it down on top to kind of help encase the top of it just a little. You want some of that filling to be peeking out of the top. Now that those are crimped up, the last thing I have to do is brush them with a little bit of egg wash and this is simply one egg that I beat with a little bit of water about a half of a teaspoon not really all that much make sure you coat the outsides of these really well so they brown up evenly alright there we go that looks like enough cheese to me now these are going to go into a 400 degree oven where they're going to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes until the puff pastry turns a nice golden brown and it's cooked completely through these ended up taking about 25 minutes in my oven to cook through. They do look really, really good. They smell really good, and I'm very excited to dive in here and try them out. I did let them sit up on the counter for just a little bit, just to kind of let everything settle down, let them cool down a little bit so they wouldn't burn my mouth while I'm trying it. Let's get a nice big bite there, make sure we get a little bit of everything in it. I see the ham, the spinach. Definitely the cheese. 
so hot. <laughs> These turned out really well. They're definitely filling that breakfasty pie kind of vibe I was looking for today. I did get little hints of the nutmeg from time to time, though it's not overwhelming. There's a really good balance here between the ham and the spinach versus the amount of ricotta I used. I think I could have used maybe just a tad bit more cheese, but the one thing I'm kind of missing from this is a little bit of heat. I think the next time I make these, I'm going to be adding just a little pinch of either red pepper flake or maybe a hint of cayenne pepper, just an eighth of a teaspoon or so. I know tonight I'll be adding a little bit of hot sauce to these to help jazz them up a little bit more. But overall, I really do like these and I will definitely be making them again. But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you all enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I'm a girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.